All right, let's say some numbers. In Chinese, when it comes to tens, we need to add a shi after the number. For example, 58. We need to add a shi after the number wu. And then we plus ba. So 58 is wu shi ba. Our next number is 32. We need to add a shi after the number san, and then we plus r. So 32 is san shi r. Our last number is 79. Now, can you say it? Yes, it's qi shi jiu. Well done. Now, what if you want to say numbers that are up to hundreds and thousands? Then you need these two characters, bai and qian. Bai means hundred, qian means thousand. Now, let's learn how to write these two characters. Bai. Hong Pie Shu Hong Zhe Hong Hong Tian Pie Hong Shu Okay, now let's try to say some bigger numbers. Our first number is 132. When it comes to hundreds, we just need to add bai after the number yi. It's yi bai. After that, it's just like what we do when it comes to tens. We add shi after the number san. And then we plus r. So, 132 is 132R. Our next number is 479. We just need to add 百 after the number 四. Add 十 after the number 七. And then we we'll plus 九. So 479 is 四百. 七十九. Now it's your turn to say this number. 865. Yes, it's 865. Good job. Now it comes to thousands. It's the same as when it comes to hundreds. We just need to add 千 after the number. So, can you say these numbers? Our first number is 9132. The second number is 6479. And the last number is 3865. Well done! I'm pretty sure that now you are quite confident in saying numbers in Chinese.